Hello, today we're going to talk about underground facilities. Um, uh, okay, let's get started. Problem was maybe 60 minutes of gameplay. So what we do is underground facilities. First thing we're looking at here is a little FPS area. So what we're looking at here is what tanks could look like. Um, this could be like a um, underground facility. Also, what we're seeing here is some uh, nooks and crannies. If what we're seeing here is going underground. Also, what we're seeing here is we physical active go into the bowels. So what we're seeing here is what we're looking at here is. So what we're seeing here is. Okay, so what we're looking at here is. Um, now what we're seeing here is. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the, so what we're seeing here is... So what we landed on here is uh, something that we felt poor. Now moving on to the zone two. We'll be in the early, boring could be, could be quite interesting. It could be this maybe is, so maybe there's cool visuals. There could be little checkpoints. Could be a mini corridor. Maybe cargoes to maybe processing to, or maybe technical stuff. You know, maybe there's elevators. You know, maybe FPS combat. Maybe this or maybe this is offices. Maybe hydraulic cylinders. Maybe these are scanning checkpoints. Maybe it's processing. Maybe array here. Yeah, maybe this is theme rooms. Cool. There's also going to be underground facilities. Uh, and also it's a bit of fun to go from it being below water to above water. So again, this could lead into cave networks. We'd see excavation equipment, different types of geology, but maybe we're introducing some form of liquid. So maybe it's lava, maybe it's acidic. There could be like underground rivers, underground lakes, uh, interesting opportunities. That's an overview of what we're pushing for for the new uh, underground facilities. 